Yo guys, and today we have a bunch of Cosmic Eclipse. I just think I'll fling some. So I'm going to double count them um, just to make sure. But however, I was going through my bulk up and it looks like one of the packs was cut. Uh, I'm not sure how or where my supplier got these from. Maybe from, I just bought off a bulk uh, seller and he, he might got out. I don't even know. You can't cut it like this unless it's a factory floor. So I'll put that to the side. I'm just going to check if I dash any other packs. I have one more. I oh, know I have four here. This is a random pack opening. So subscribe if you want to see that. That's just going to be a variety of packs. But let me double count. There should be 40 here. So four lots of 10 here. I mean, I'll just keep them separate piles of 10. Let's see how many hits we get per 10. Uh, I think they came out of booster boxes, but honestly, I can't explain this. So um, this split here, let me put it a little bit up. And yeah, uh, you can just literally open it like that. Obviously, we saw it was a green code. Yeah, it looks like only the code card is damaged. So, boom, there is the code. I hope you can read that. Oh, look. So, the back two cards, it went quite deep. So, the back two cards I'll have to throw away or put it, so give it in some bulk. Some bulks, uh, collectors don't mind that. One of my boys, I don't really sell bulk, so. Uh, if you're gonna comment, sell me your bulk. Uh, I don't sell bulk, I just have one guy that takes my bulk off me. He's a close friend, that's the only reason I do it. Um, apart from that, I don't really sell bulk at all, I just hold them. But obviously, we're just gonna get no hit in here. But in uh, Cosmic Eclipse, you can get a character card, uh, secret rare character cards in this set, in the reverse slot on a green code. So that's another reason uh, why I love Cosmic Eclipse. Cosmic Eclipse is a really good set, I can imagine it going up in the future. So I just bought, I buy it, I'm trying to buy as much. If I ever get offered Cosmic Eclipse, I'm taking everything. Also have some Sword and Shield today, um, but let's see what we can do. Lilip, Flabber Bess, Afil, Natu, Pub Toad, Jagamato, Whimsicott, and a lot of Mark. So 40 packs. Let's see how quickly we can go through these. I'll go through them fairly quickly. We have opened over like 30, 40 Cosmic Eclipse in different videos, so about nearly like a thousand packs. I'm sure we've done a thousand packs on this channel. Not everything's uploaded, obviously. I have like 20, 30 videos on a hard drive. Might be 20 on the channel, but beastie. And boom, that's how you want to start off. Uh, let me get my sleeves. Sleeves, sleeves, sleeves. That's how you want to start off. This is an alternative art. Obviously, it's got the full art texture there. Um, this is this goes for a fair bit. Uh, it's a good card. That's a very, very good pull. I'll pull that. Seem to pull up quite a bit. Um, so who knows? Maybe it's not as popular. But alternatives arts are quite uh, hard to pull. Uh, don't get them really frequently. And Blastoise and Piplop seems to go for quite a lot. Uh, but Jolteon, J J Pongoro, Rapidash, uh, Teddy Ursa, Nosepart, Litleo, Flabbebe, Sophia. Lone Meowth and Mag Cargo. So what, we opened four packs now, one hit. So pull ratio so far, wait, four or four? I think four, this is the fourth one. So let's see how many hits we get. Uh, I try and aim for like a two, uh, one and two hits. But look, this counts as a hit. Obviously, like I said, this was this code. So you get a green code, you can get these secret rare character cards. Really dope. I think they'll go up in the future. So it's worth holding on to. But obviously, we need to sell them to be able to afford more packs. If we see on everything we open, we won't be opening that much on this channel. So yeah, uh, mainly main things I'm going for in this uh, opening is so Jaleo and Lunala Rainbow Rare. I pulled it before on this channel. That got, that's one of my most viewed videos. However, I need a good centered one for my PSA 10 collection. Ooh, Dissect Eye. Dissect UI Hollow. Um, so the, I, got, I need that in a very good, like, um, pristine condition. And then I need another Rainbow Charizard. I, I pulled two, I graded one, I have one to send off. And then I bought a PSA six raw and then i got it back and got a psa six i believe and then i'm traded for a psa 10 so i got four in total two i pulled myself and we're trying to get more that's one card that's just sharp in price so psa 10 is about 400 pounds so we're going to obviously i collect charizards that's the main thing i collect so darkness ablaze i've already planned some things and i'm gonna go crazy for it so uh subscribe here if you want to see just charizard content on like madness but yeah let's talk cold gloom Sophia, passy main rowlet lilip scrub this is a good card so obviously unless you get an error pack you can't get a hit uh and a secret rare 
uh, in the errors they messed it up so you can get like green codes with pulls so basically you can get a character card with pulls this piles I'll put this uh, stack away in a bit um, but this is the second most expensive uh, uh, character secret rare. I think Pikachu is about ten pounds, and I have like nine Pikachu secret character cards, and none of them are in pristine condition, so I can't grade any of them. I seem to get like every time I pull a Charizard, I mean a Pikachu character card, they seem to have whitening. Let me know if that's the same for you. Um, but yeah, I'm glad to be opening Cosmic Clips again. Like I said, I, I wouldn't pass any of them if they ever came up for sale. Um, really good sale. I can imagine them going up in price, and then I swear we do this every time. Not every time we've done this before. We got a full art Venus on Snivy, so and then we got the alternative art uh, Blastoise and Piplop. Actually, I'm confusing it. Ah, uh, for Venus, is that Venus on Snivy? Oh no, the alternative art for Venus on Snivy is a promo card, and so is the Charizard. The alternate art Charizard is a promo card as well. And then, but we got the Blastoise and Piplop alternative. But I swear we've done. Get, got these two in one opening before, plenty of times because I always think it's the same. They should have done a blue background for Blastoise and Piplop. Like, it doesn't make sense with the green, it just makes you think it's a Venusaur, even though it's not. Um, the blue, if it was blue, that pr it would be like a 20 pound, 25 pound card easily. I think it's about, it was 18, maybe it's gone down to 15 on the low end. Um, but I, I don't know at the minute. But yeah, we're going through 40 packs quite fast. Let's see, Celio and Swan up first row, and we have good amount of hits let me put all the character cards together so we got five hits two characters there so that's 50 percent hit ratio on the first row good way to calculate it and keep track so yeah Golda, pangoro heracross litleo flabebe sophil natu papato erica and embo i should have dumped that but it doesn't really matter um look this is Seems like the seller's got a dusty house. <laughs> There's bare dust stuck onto the bottom of this row and the other row. Who knows what's happened? Unless he's resealed them, but I really doubt that because we're getting some good hits. That's the only problem buying loose packs nowadays. It's just trust issue. Are they been resealed? Have they not? But yeah, non official or chaotic swell, terrapish, Sophia, Sophia, Sneasel, Sophia, uh, Routes, Mimikyu, and then Black Hiram Hollow Rare. So this is a good one. It's about a two pound hollow, I believe. Obviously, after fees, it looks probably a pound. Shipping kills it for those cheaper cards, so bear in mind when I put the prices there, you got the Dark 65 minimum uh, shipping cost, and then you got other costs like eBay fees, PayPal fees, and that's about it really. Um, obviously packing supplies, but if you got if you got a lot of stuff, like say, what I do is I sell, I'll, I'll work out packing costs on the profits that I make from like good lists, uh, like good openings, so the profits there I'll buy. Uh, packing supplies so basically work out free that's how I look at it if you divide everything by to the penny it's just gonna cost you a madness like you're gonna be like top loaders oh no I'm gonna lose money if I use top loaders etc but yeah well this what do you do we only got one hit in this row so yeah that's some like eBay selling advice I'm not sure if I explained that too well um, however yeah because some people think when I put one pound there, the card you can get one pound. People put it on Facebook for one pound plus shipping. Oh, we got hit. We got a Torkoal character card. Like you put, people put it for like, because they see it on eBay for 99p, but then they put it on Facebook for 99p plus shipping. The guys on eBay are selling it 99p, including shipping, because it's worth about 10p. Uh, but I always put the eBay price. So if you're going to list it, just put that price all in that I put in value. Uh, obviously, prices change, but let me put this pile away. Yo, so prices always go up and down, however, you just gotta uh, watch my latest videos. I, when I upload a video, um, it's edited within that week. Um, so that means uh, the price is uh, relative to that week. Um, so you might see older videos, they might be worth more, or they might be worth less. You might see future videos that are worth more, they might be worth less. So just, if you want accurate market price, just keep watching my videos. Um, and then I'll always update it, but yeah, size me toad. What do we do? We got two hits in this third row. And nothing too great. Let's see if we can even get a secret. We got 40 packs, it's quite a good ratio. Uh, but like I said, I'm not sure where these came from. But we did get two full arts. We got alternative. I got a Venus or there. Uh, so these could come out of various different promo products. And that too, because usually in the booster box, you like guaranteed one full art. I'm sure the alternative art counts as a full art. So uh, unless we're just very lucky today. Two more packs on that second row. Grimer, Magnemite, Eevee, Flabby Base, Neasel, Jalade, and uh, Bomber Snubble. Always get that one mixed up. So 
So yeah, Island Challenge, Amulet, Krillia, Roller Skater, Cottony, Rowlet, Phantom, Grimer, Magnemite, Gulchile, and Trevenon. So boom, Toji Demaru, Absol, Flareon, Natu, Palpatar, Jagamoto, Deerling, Gollum, Gloom. <laughs> so that second row sucked. So hopefully, say a third and fourth row will treat us much better because obviously we got no hits in this row. So hopefully the other rows have some good hits in them. Uh, Gold Duck, Will, Mimikyu, Sandshrew, Snorunt, Coughing, Droba. Ooh, we got a character card. Obviously nothing behind, like I explained before. Mimikyu now. I think this is going for a little bit, like the four to five pounds, which is quite good. They all was. They was quite high before because of Dream League, the Japanese set, and then they instantly, once they dropped, they just went down in price. I guess bulk openers uh, really dropped down the prices on them, like just sold it for like pounds and pennies. Uh, apart from Pikachu, I think it's held this price uh, since release day, like five pounds. Now it's a ten pound card, uh, but everything else is not going for much. But Tangela, Clay, see a third full art. Is alternate art full art? I, I technically is. It's basically a full art. It's not like VMAX where it's like a grey area, but it's technically a full art. So we've got three full arts. I doubt it'll come from a booster box then. Probably various promotional products to get this many full arts. But Nagana Delta and Guzzlord um, full art. That's awesome. One cut. You know what? After opening like thousands of Cosmic Clips in my lifetime, obviously I opened loads before re uh, before this channel. Like on release day, I, I ordered six, opened six booster boxes on release day, and got literally every single Rainbow card you need from this set. And um, I still, after opening all of those, I didn't get the full art Charizard. Like I got the Rainbow Charizard, I got normal Charizard, of course, but never pulled the full art one. But here's Soljalio Luna, uh, just Soljalio Holo Rare. I was saying Soljalia Lunana because that's in this set. There's this one here. That's Soljalia Lunana. That's, that's the card we need in rainbow form because that's. I may as well go for the rainbow set in this. Like the cool rainbow set. Not like, like the rainbow tag team set, I guess. Because I pretty much got everything else in a PSA. Uh, but that one I want in a PSA 10 just because it got the character there and stuff. Uh, so yeah, like full art Charizard. I've never pulled it. I don't know why. Like. I've, probably got two of them now I think I have two in my collection um, I probably paid like 20 quid for them might have two or one of them on uh, in my collection I think but that's not even a good centered one I just bought it on eBay and then it yeah, just didn't turn up good but T pig and all the had like whitening and stuff so that's a shame but that's why I just try and buy them uh, when you pull that's why I prefer to pull myself than rather uh, paying for raws but obviously if you buy from us they're pretty much min, min condition just check my feedback like people are like really amazed at the condition they receive my stuff in. Literally, I store it well. I think the problem is people don't store this stuff well. Groudon and Whimsicott. Now this section's all right. We got one, I think one hollow, one uh, secret rare character card and one full up from the third row. But not enough hits, guys. Paid quite a bit for these. Obviously, Cosmic Eclipse is coming up in the price. Uh, paid quite a bit. Just under retail, but not too like cheap, cheap like I would like to get. So we still got a lot of money to make back. So Slugma, Chinchu, Golurk, and Wailroom. Yo, who else goes through 30 packs in 14 minutes? Like, currently the videos are 14 minutes. It might be shorter because I cut out uh, me putting the cards away, maybe counting and so counting the packs. Um, so it might be, but imagine going through cards this quick. Um, but there's a two end plus. I'm trying to help like educate and stuff like that. So quite good oh I think we got a hit here I'm not sure what it is I'm not sure if you saw that as well on top it was hanging up on top of Priplop and right drill blood tangle Eevee dust gold time pole exacto drill and blastoise and Piplop. so we're doing good on the Venusaurs we're doing good on the blastoise so no Charizards though but this is like it was 10 it beginning of lockdown I remember it was about 10 pounds solid and now it's about seven but that's quite a lot because that's just a Blastoise. It's more than Charizard, so it must be a playable card. Looking at its attacks, it's quite decent. Go back, look at, uh, pause it on the attacks if you want to see uh, what's that about. But yeah, let's see what's in this one. Ooh. Will, Gold Dark, Tangoro, Magnemite, Lily, Pup, Trapinch, Sneasel, Saphir, Meowth, and then Victini. Hollow. So there's a hollow right here, so not bad. So I think one, two, three, four. I think four hits there. 
Uh, we did really bad on the second, so hopefully we make it up in this last pack. I mean, last row of 10. So obviously, we opened 30 packs now. Got, I don't know, let's count. Um, should we count at the end? Let's count how many hits we got at the end then. Uh, so, Mallow, Lana, Tropius, Taji Demaru, Pancham, Droba, Tangela, Eevee, Dusko. Boom! Okay. I'm gonna move that after this one, but here is a Pikachu uh, character card. You see? Pack fresh every time. We got lift here, little whitening there. Um, the corners are never good. Little whitening here, little whitening here. Every time. This is my 10th one now. I don't think I'll sell them. I think I'll hold on to them because I think this will be a £20 card. It's secret rare Pikachu. You got red here. You got like, you know when the first ever game when you pick up, at the beginning of the game when you pick up your Pokemon, literally is that. So this is definitely a 20 pound card. I got 10. I had them since they were five pound cards. So it's, it's good investment to be honest and I'm sitting on them. So this one will go into the collection. But like I said, look, straight out of the pack and it's all dinged up, smash like not dinged up. It's literally just the Pikachu cards. The next next pull, I'll, I'll, I'll show you. Um, if this look here, this would be a pool. This got a little whitening. I don't know, to be honest. Um, but obviously, as you can see, it's a pack fresh. But more wild dust clubs, Rowlet, Scrub, Pikachu, Teddy Osa, Nose Puff, Sneasel, and Rosa Hollow. So, this is a Rosa Hollow. This is like a 10 pound card. I think it might have dropped in price. Um, you can see a little bit whitening. It might be print quality now, or it's just been run like not stored well by the previous seller but pikachu every time every time even fresh from a booster box is like that so that's a good hollow by the way let me move this out the way make sure you redeem the codes guys because they just went in the bin um so yeah how many more packs that's the last row i can't remember how many packs i think we did two three i don't know um but you can probably see there you can count it it's like that then you can count it Ooh, this looks like something nice here um, full art rainbow, let's see. Maybe I'm just guessing it too early, I don't know, I just had a little glimpse of silver. So it could even be a GX, yeah, it could be a GX, but... Hedy Patel, Cosmog, Wishy Washy. What did I see that was silver? Oh no, that was like, proper silver borders, like, I thought I saw. Oh, I got gas, guys, oh my days, I thought we were going to get something cool. Like Rosa Full Art is like a £30 Full Art as well and that really would help with the value of this being able to sell that and to reinvest into more packs. What I do, uh, I always mention this every time because people think oh he's a dirty reseller or something like that. Uh, but what we do is we buy cards, uh, we buy packs, we keep the stuff we want and need in our collection. Stuff we don't have, stuff we need to double up on and then I'll sell the stuff I don't need. Like who really needs all this? Like I have... Uh, Blast toys have like I said the uh, this is my 10th Pikachu now um, Hollow rares. I don't think there's any hollow rares in this set that I need and then we just sell those and then buy stuff We need um, we reinvest into more packs and then get more chances of getting stuff We need but we got Rosa reverse go on I'm gonna count the value of this Rosa reverse because it is worth more than a fiver So that's worth mentioning so you guys can keep an eye out if you pull one of these in the reverse slot um, Rosa just a playable card I um, didn't play the Sun and Moon game, maybe she's a likeable character, but you guys can see the the shininess here. Uh, so we're going to get a hit. Just love Cosmic Eclipse, guys. Just a good set. Of, unfortunately, no secrets. Out of 40 packs, no secrets. But Hakamoto, Magnemite, Eevee, Flabbebe, Sneasel, Grimer, and Flygon. Not the best GX, but um, there are Flygon collectors, I believe. I remember seeing a video on it. Someone said they like Flygons and they collect every single Flygon. So you should come shop with me because I have a flight on uh, Rainbow Rare on my site, uh, eBay actually. Uh, I think it might be sold though. But have a look. Type in Secret Rares. Type in Rainbow on my eBay. Link in the description. I'm going to start plugging in the videos. I keep forgetting. I know some of you guys might love it. But boom, another character card. Steel I think we're getting a very, very good selection of character cards in this video. Steelix. This one's gone up in price, I believe. It's worth a fair bit. It used to be about pound, two pounds. I think it's about three to four now. So that's on the rise now, that's a good one. So boom, um, Zangus, Vaporeon, Pikachu, Suffle, Ponyard, Litleo, Coughing, Cricketot, and Trevenant. Two packs left, those past those artwork. There seems to be something here, so let's not spoil it. 
Did you guys see it? Hopefully you guys saw it. There was something at the top. I hate when it just peeks at the top. I love it when it's like a rainbow rare at the end and you like didn't see it. You had like no hint of being a race rainbow rare there, but we got this Venusaur and Snivy. So we'd, like I said, we're going hard on the Venusaur and Blastoise, but where's the Charizard? Um, last pack now. A shame they didn't do a Charizard artwork pack. That'd be incredible. Uh, hopefully, I'll show you that code again. I don't think that focused. Um, I didn't look at the camera, I just saw it was bent. Um, but I just want to go through this, I don't want to mess it up. Teddy Ursa, Nose Pass, Chinchu, and Jelaid. Yeah, Hollow Rare. So, boom. Alright, let me just give you a recap. Let me count how many we got. Um, let me show you this code again. And Jelaid, let's go into the recap. So, boom, we have 19 hits, one away from a 50% hit ratio. I still got four more packs in the random pack opening, but let's go through the hits. Total price is in the corner right now, and we've got Jaleed Hollow, Rosa Reverse. Like I said, I don't put reverses in the final recap. However, this is like something worth mentioning, something notable, because uh, you guys can keep an eye out for this one, because it's worth a little bit over five pounds. So if you pull this, it rich literally pays for the pack you just opened, and it's in a reverse slot, so that's good. Rosa. Victini, Soljalio, Black Kyrim, did the Sec UI, and that's all the holo rares and reverse, obviously. And then we go into our secret rare character cards. Comes in a reverse slot. Secret rare, of course, is a, the, the numbers higher than the amount in the set. So we got Steelix, Pikachu, Mimikyu, Torkoal, exact the drone, Piplop. That's actually quite a lot of secret rare character cards we got there. But then we got Flygon, Venusaur, Snivy, Blastoise, and Piplop. And then we got three more. And those were the GXs, however, here we have some more GXs, however, these are full arts and alternative arts. We've got Naganadel and Guzzlord, Venusaur and Snivy, and there's alternative art, Blastoise and Piplop. They should have done the blue. Let me know in the comments if you believe that as well. But this is not a bad opening. Hopefully, from total value, we did quite well, but we actually got a very nice amount of pulls, to be honest, guys. With 40 packs opened in 20-ish minutes, that's quite decent. That's like 30 seconds a pack. So I hope you like this video guys, make sure to like, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time, peace.